You guys, it's sad. Um, the singer of this particular song I just sang just slept on in dead yesterday night. Sorry if you're hearing any background noise. Um, it's really, really sad. So, this legendary Nigerian singer, Onyeke Okwenu, is 72 years old. And she died after performing at a party in Lagos. Actually, it's her friend's party. She went to her friend's party and she performed there. She sang there and then that was it. That was it. Last, I think from what we heard, she, after performing, after singing, she sat down on her chair and then immediately after sitting down on her chair, she, there was no movement, she slumped and then she was rushed to a hospital and that was it. So this music icon reportedly died on Tuesday night, that's July 30th, today is Wednesday, right, at the Redinson Hospital, Lagos, after she s- performed uh at this birthday party in lagos she was 72 even though she was 72 she was very very strong very very strong i saw some of the videos i'm going to play some of them for you i saw some of the videos of the uh where how she was performing you wouldn't believe she's 72 years old so now according to a source close to the family woman who was attending a friend's birthday party was a friend when she looked to the stage to perform after her performance, she returned to her seat and suddenly slumped. She was rushed to the Redinson Hospital in Lagos, where she was later pronounced dead. The cause of her death is yet to be confirmed. Onyeke Owenu was born on May 31st, 1953. You guys, it's really sad, though. very, very sad. Onyeke Owenu had a career that spanned over four decades. She was not only a renowned singer and songwriter, but also an actress, journalist, and politician. Her first album with Polygamy, Polygram in the Morning Light was released in 1984. Some of her most popular songs include One Love, Keep Us Together, Living in a World, Da, 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 da. I used to love that her song. And then another of her songs is Yo Go Go, Yo Go Go. And then another one is Ekwe. Another one of her songs is Oh Nega Bebu Iya, Ga Bebu Iya. She's an Igbo woman, a very beautiful woman, as you can already see. You guys, uh, it's painful, to be honest. It's painful to lose such an icon over such uh i don't even understand to just die like that yeah over nothing because had even she was sick i don't think her family would have allowed her come to perform at this her friend's birthday so it probably meant that she was healthy and strong before she came out and if you see the way she was vibing in that video she was really really healthy and strong so but to just go back and sit down on the chair yeah? And then slumped. No, nah, it's no clear. No clear. The matter no clear for her because why? How? How? Sorry if you're hearing any background noise. These students were the dating. Eh? I don't tire like this. <laughs> so, to be honest, the matter no clear for our eyes. The whole social media is saying that we can't wait for the family to come out and, you know, say the cause of her death. Because how? How? Had it been she wasn't. She was sick. I don't think their family would have let her come out. I'm sure she wouldn't have come out. Yes, she's 72 years old, but then she's not She's not a weak old, you know, haggard 72-year-old. She's very young, you know. From the video I saw, very young, and then she was energetic. She was just vibing and singing, and you get... Could it be high blood? Could it be BP? I don't know. But if she had history of BP, I'm sure... The caliber of woman that she is, her, she would have personal doctors that would probably tell her, no, 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 you're not supposed to leave. You know, she's a politician too. She's an actress. I watched some of her movies when I was younger too. So she's a very important woman. 
mm, in Nigeria, especially from Igbo land. She's a very important woman. So she's not somebody that would just, you know, slump like that and die. Well, I know that death is inevitable, but then we are still waiting for the family to come out and state or, you know, give us hospital, uh, give us statement telling us this is what the doctors had to say, okay? Okay, concerning her death because until now nobody knows. So, but I just wanted to let you guys know that Onyeka Omono has kicked the bucket. So, moving over, let's talk about um, what's her name again? Uche Jumbo. So, Uche Jumbo made a post saying that she lost her sister. Let's get right into that story, too. So, guys, uh, Nollywood actress Uche Jumbo said that she lost her sister, her younger sister, and that she has been a wreck. Uche Jumbo is in great uh, pain or in grievance after losing her younger sister to the cold hands of death. So, we hope that she recovers. She wrote, My vacation ended on Saturday, which turned out to be the worst day of her life. I lost, she lost her younger sister and has been a wreck. Grieving someone this close wasn't her 2024 cards, but we cannot ask God questions. You guys, uh, I don't know why it's trending or it's raining death everywhere. Uh, everybody should be careful out there. Uche Jumbo, we are really, really sorry you have to go through this now. Losing someone in debt is one of the most painful things that can happen to anybody. More so when that person is your sister. I can't, like, God forbid. I can imagine, I can't imagine how she's feeling right now. I cannot imagine it. It must be really, really painful for her. So sorry, Uche Jumbo. But then, uh, there's something that has always constantly gave me hope. Hope of the dead. If the dead can really live again, okay? And there's this hope that I have on what the Bible says. And that thing is recorded at Acts chapter 24, verse 15, which says that there's going to be a, there's going to be a resurrection. So we shouldn't give up. We shouldn't lose hope. What it means that we should have comfort. We should uh, be comforted when any of our loved ones die because we know that they are going to wake up again. And this time, when they wake up, it's not going to be in a world full of sin and crime. Okay. Another place is at Psalms chapter 36, verse 9. There, that place explains that God is the creator of life. And the Bible calls God Jehovah. That's God's name. So he's the source of life. And he's the one that gave life to all living creatures. So if someone who gave life to every living thing gives life does does it does it not make you believe that he too can equally give back life even if that life is lost he can restore that life back and god has restored resurrected humans even in the past okay so humans in the past has been resurrected the likes of uh what's his name again lazarus uh the young girl and some other people that has, that were resurrected in the past so all this thing gives us hope that in the future God is going to do it on a grander scale. And uh, uh, the Bible at First Corinthians chapter fifteen verse twenty six, that place equally explained that God is eager to do it again. Jehovah hates death; he views it as an enemy. He has a longing to conquer that enemy, to undo death by means of the resurrection. So he yearns to to bring back those who are in his memory. And to see them live again so we shouldn't give up or we shouldn't lose hope because our dead loved ones die will now think that it is gone no it is not gone god is going to wake them up for us again yeah so please take heart be strong every one of you who must be grieving by now yeah be strong very soon god's kingdom is going to come and we're going to see our dead loved ones again thank you so much for watching i'll see you later